Vlogging, vlogging, got to vlog. I felt it was important to vlog because of where I am. Um, I took a lot of video footage yesterday and I didn't talk at all. The intention was kind of not to talk and just let the scenery do its uh, do the talking, but I seem to recall a certain other vlogger has done that before and I didn't want to be seen to be copying, even though I felt it was the right thing. Uh, just opens you, just opens you up to a bit of trolling on the old comments. Anyway. Here we are at, now, apologies in advance for the pronunciation, Mangerstar. Uh, that's as close as I can sort of figure out. It's probably wrong, it's almost certainly wrong, and I really should find out how to pronounce it. So I promise I will endeavor to find out how to pronounce it. But uh, it's pretty spectacular here. Some of the size of these waves breaking down on the shore here, just these huge Atlantic rollers are absolutely incredible. Um, I'm breaking one of the rules, which is probably getting a little bit too close and standing where there are cracks. So I'm gonna move away a bit. Um, but this is a special place. I've had the drone up, had the drone out, as you've either probably seen or will be about to see, depending on how I edit this thing. And uh, got it down really low, and I think I've got some, some really fantastic images, not just video stuff, but some, um, some uh, actual photographs down low amongst the stacks. Um, I got a bit scared, I've gotta say, I kinda of wanted my drone back. So um, I uh, brought it back up when I sort of lost my nerve. So, quite a big crack along here. I oh, know it's not cracked, it's a path. Um, so I'm gonna walk along the top now and try and find Veronica and Farah, who are hopefully along the cliff edge somewhere. Uh, I'm sure they are, I'm sure they're fine. Uh, she should be sitting reading a book, and playing with the dog, who I hope will be on the lead still. I don't want her off the lead around here, too scary. Um, so, wow, I mean, the, the, it's just incredible, what an incredible part of the coastline. And we've got really brilliant weather for it today. Yesterday was a bit, it was a bit meh, 
I got the drone up still, so it wasn't too windy, but as the day went on, it got worse and worse. Sorry, I'm trying to watch where I'm going as well as keep an eye on the camera. But yeah, some of these waves breaking down below me are pretty impressive. Um, so the, apparently the best spot to take photos is from along out on the uh, peninsula. Oh, big puddle. And uh, that's where we're going. So a bit of a walk out there, not very far. Um, and once we get there, get the camera out. And I suspect some sort of long lens, probably not the wide one, I'll probably be too far away. So I can anticipate either the 24 to 70 or the 70 to 200. And uh, I'm going to conserve my battery with the drone because I've realized that the batteries have gone to storage mode. I checked them last night, but it's happened overnight. So I should have charged the batteries fully, but I didn't. It's good boy error. Never mind. Uh, they're pretty, pretty full. I'll be able to get enough of them today. Anyway, right. I'll show you again what I'm seeing soon. But Isle of Lewis, west coast, Atlantic Ocean that way. Um, mountains behind me, which are fantastic. Huge rain cloud. Yeah, could be in some bother soon. <laughs> so I'm gonna hurry up. I think, from recollection, I think that that's going the other, away from us. So the wind's coming from the north now, swung right around. So with any luck, we avoid that. Otherwise it's gonna be a soggy afternoon. But I think we're okay. Right, I'm gonna pay attention to what I'm doing here and speak to you again soon when I'm out at the cliff edge. Okay, ciao. Okay. So the wind's starting to pick up a wee bit, so it's going really fairly well. That uh, cloud behind me is starting to look a little bit scary. I think it might be coming this way. So I've got a couple of shots. I did try with the wide angle lens on at 35 mil. Uh, and that was quite good, but I've popped the 24 to 70 on now. I've got the six stop ending in the two grad 0.9 and the 0.9 soft 1.2 medium. It's a polarizer, which has got the lock. Yeah, it's easier to get the filters in and out of. That's the main difference. But, uh, yeah, it's good. Liking it. Liking it, liking it. So, uh, yeah, we're at four seconds currently. Snap on the shot. Um, it's just kind of giving the right amount of movement for my eyes. Yeah, it's perfect. The color of the water is incredible against the, uh, the rocks. The um, sun comes back out, the sea's just going to light up. It might be enough. I think it might just be about to come back out. But these uh, this light and the landscape, it looks like it's coming towards me. So I think we're going to get lucky with the light again. I was worried that I'd miss it tapping around the drone and blocking. But I think we're okay. So I've got my little wizard remote, which I've not really seen too many times, but it seems to have soldiered on. Um, I haven't dealt with my microphone today, sorry. So. I'll try and do what I can and post the audio. But microphones and bathing of that, it's just too much of a bath. So anyway, right, um, I'll show you what I'm looking at. There you go. That's the basic composition that I'm looking at. And you can see the sunlight off in the distance coming towards us, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna just uh, focus on the old uh, photography side of things that's what this is all about. And there's some beauties or waves coming in. Can you see that? Look at that. That's so awesome. There we go. So, a joy to be on Lewis and the Outer Hebrides. We're probably going to head over to um, Las Cantaya and Harris this afternoon. It's a bit of a drive back around because you've got to go around the mountains, but that's okay. It's a nice day for a drive. Here comes a light. Right, I'm going to pay attention. I'll catch you on the flip side. I think 
I got the shots, the light. Pretty incredible place, huh? Uh, too short, sorry. <laughs> right, ignore the fact that I've not put my camera away. I know that's naughty. But when you're vlogging, carrying your camera like this is, uh, ugh, it's just easier. Everything takes too long otherwise and you're always faffing. I hate faffing. I'm a bad faffer when I'm, uh, when I'm vlogging and photographing. So that's kind of why I stopped vlogging for a while actually. I kind of felt like I was faffing too much and missing good photography opportunities. Let's just have a look at the view. Pretty special, huh? There's a cave. Uh, see it. Kind of hard to tell where it is on the backwards video. Basically, oh, I think it's, hang on a minute. Yeah. Wrong way. I always do that, don't I? Over there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's it there. And in there, occasionally a wave breaks inside it and fills up almost the entire cave. It's incredible. And um, because they don't, I mean, they're big waves. They're obviously big waves, but they don't look like they're gonna be silly big. Right, right, I've got to negotiate a, a style here, so um, bear with me a second. Yeah. Right, did it. Didn't drop anything, which is also good. Right, so yeah, um, faffing photographing. Yeah, I don't like being in a hurry. Um, I like sort of taking my time and making sure I've thought of everything. That's pretty steep down there. So yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. This is a case, this is another point that I was trying to make when I was talking about vlogging recently. I don't know what to say. I don't really have anything to talk about. I feel like uh, uh, that uh, Point of view of education, it's already been said, but I guess that doesn't really matter necessarily. Maybe just how I do things, maybe if you like my images, how I get to them, that sort of thing. I guess that's useful on some level. But I guess for me, it's about just being out in this incredible landscape. Um, I've been to the Outer Hebrides before. Uh, twice, but never to Lewis and Harris. This is my first trip up to Lewis and Harris. And yesterday at Boston Beach, it was pretty special. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to get a bit there. But Boston is a short hike. Boston is just a short hike up from where we're staying. We've got this fantastic little house by the sea um, on an island linked by a causeway, a foot causeway, um, footbridge over the tidal lagoon. And it's just brilliant. We're the only people on the island, Vallacy, Vallacy Cottage. Right, I'm gonna keep my wits by me here, I think, because oh, it's quite precipice. It's overhanging. Precipice? I think that's the word. It's overhanging and it's probably fractured and broken, so I'm gonna to have to be careful here. But the view, the stacks. Come on, gimbal. Faster, gimbal. Faster. You can do it, gimbal. Probably we'll just that up in terms.
right, yeah, another beautiful place um, on the west coast of Harris. Um, yeah, I don't know what this one's called either. I promise I'll look these up when I get back. And when I put this video together, I'll put them there. Bet you I can't do that. Anyway, gonna watch these waves. So I'm breaking one of my rules, but kind of only put my bag on my back just in case. But my other rule is not to turn my back to the waves. But I'm gonna say that I've got a video camera doing an eye things for me. Yeah, so I was down in there before getting in on the action and the waves started to get a little bit too so it's a bit too intense and a bit too, too, big, too big. And I was worried about getting cut off or even dragged back in. There was a lady here, I think, killed a couple of weeks, a week or so ago. Sadly, I think it was in the news. Um, not here exactly, but on Harris, I think. So south of where I am, but similar coastline. And I suspect largely similar conditions. Really wavy, but stunning sunshine, beautiful sunny day. It's quite cold though, as you can see by the way I'm dressed. But uh, it's a pretty amazing place. Yeah, those cliffs over there are cool. So, um, yeah, you've got to be careful by the sea. Um, especially in beaches that you don't know as well. Uh, I'm okay with the Murray Firth now because I can to a degree predict what's going to happen. Because I know the area pretty well, but it's always better to be careful. Better to be safe than sorry. On beaches that you don't know, like this one for me, um, yeah, just you make sure you've got an escape route, make sure you've got all your gear attached to you so that you can grab it at any moment and run away. And always keep an eye on the water. And that may mean just uh, doing as I am now and putting a video of it in your eye, or just looking at it, never turning your back because it's Seas like this are pretty unpredictable. You can see some of the waves crashing behind me are massive. I mean, really, really massive. Um, so, gotta be careful. Really careful. Anyway, my arm's getting sore because I didn't bring my gimbal out of my bag, just holding my phone up. Um, so, again, I'll name the beach when I get back and find out what it's called. We're off to another one now, just over that way, over that cliff and on the other side and uh, yeah I tried to fly the drone here it's a little bit windy I think it's, the wind's picked up too much now it's a bit dicey the drone was pitching on an angle like that to get against the, the wind and get back so probably not worth it I've, I've been lucky so far with the drone so I don't want to push my luck okay right uh, maybe check in at this last beach before we head home for the day okie dokie see you too